Have you ever looked down and wondered why soil changes color from place to place? Let's break down what the most common colors mean. Starting with the dark browns, these soils form in grasslands and open plains where dense plant roots grow and decay over centuries. That organic matter builds up and gives the soil its rich dark color. They are common across the US Great Plains, North Dakota, Kansas, Nebraska. These soils are deep, soft, and great at holding water and nutrients. They are also among the most fertile soils on Earth, but here is the trade off they are heavy. These soils can be dense and sticky when wet, so farmers often need machinery to work them effectively. Red soils are common in hilly and mountainous areas, especially in warm, humid climates. Over time, rainfall washes out many nutrients and iron oxidizes, just like rust, giving the soil a reddish tint. In the US, you'll find in Minnesota, Georgia, Alabama, and in tropical mountain areas like central Puerto Rico. They are well-drained and easier to work with equipment than dark soils, but they tend to be acidic and low in nutrients, so farmers usually need to apply fertilizers and lime to keep them productive. Gray soil tell a different story. They form in areas where water sits for long periods. Without oxygen, iron is chemically reduced and loses its color, leaving behind pale or bluish-gray tones. These soils are common in wetlands, floodplains, and long-lying landscapes, a prime example, the Everglades in Florida. From a farming perspective, gray soils are usually unproductive. They lack oxygen and often lose key nutrients through leaching, but ecologically, they are critical. They support wetland ecosystems and play a big role in carbon storage and climate regulation. Soil color isn't random. It reflects the environment, the history, and even how usable that soil is for agriculture or conservation.